Hey folks, welcome to another day, another unboxing, and yes, this is the brand new Moto Razr 5G. I finally have a Razr to play with. This box is pretty bonkers, so I kind of wanted to show it to you. It is this crazy, weird, shaped, monolith type thing. The original box you could uh, recycle as a speaker stand. So I wonder if that's the case here too. So let's open this up, shall we? Dun, 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 dun. Whoa, hang on, I'm gonna rotate it because I think it's more interesting this way. And the phone almost fell off. I suppose it was gonna have to sit in this. There you go, it came out of that. So yeah, <laughs> check that out. That's the uh, inside of this. It seems to be uh, some foam padding right in here but that hasn't kept the phone in place. All right, so there is the phone and its little, ooh, accessory case. So let's have a look at that, right? I wanna check that out and have a look at this where I suppose the phone lives. Now it's stuck in there real good after almost falling out. So this is what it looks like, the base. You can see there's little vents down there. So it obviously can be used as a speaker base after you throw the rest of the packaging out. Maybe I don't throw packaging out. So anyway, this is the phone. Yeah, look at that. Cool. So let's get to that in a minute. Let's have a quick look at what's in this little box here. Wow, this is fancy. Look at that. Ooh. All right, immediately you see a charger. So this is probably Moto standard turbo power charger. I will leave it here so we can see the wattage and I'll put up the wattage like right there. Probably 15 or 18 watt. There's a headphone to USB-C dongle as expected. There is a SIM removal tool here and then the USB-C cord I presume. C to A because the charger is A, so you got A on this side, there, and then C on this side. No surprises and some manuals in here, so let's have a look at that real quick. All right, so this is like legal safety, nobody cares, and then we've got a little instruction thing. Ooh, fancy, look at that. And then there's some more in the back in Spanish. All right, so I wanna thank AT&T for hooking me up with this Razer 5G. They're being super great. They hooked me up with the Galaxy Z Flip 5G as well. So it's gonna be a very interesting comparison comparing these two. I'll link to the unboxing video of that up here. So this is the phone. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Actually, this just popped off. So let's get started with that. So let's see if I can get this IMA off. Ah, uh, here we go. All right. So, ta-da. Ooh. Yeah, this front display is not as small as the one in the Galaxy Z Flip. And uh, let's open this up. Here we go. There's that 6.2 inch display. You can kind of see some creases. I will uh, fire it up and we'll walk through all the specs. Power button is on this side. Here we go. A Moto powered by Android. Ooh, razor animation. And this is the start screen. As you can see, there's a bit of a blue shade at the bottom. This is not the screen being weird. This is just on purpose. And this is the setup screen. I'm not gonna set this up now, but I kind of wanted to show you what it looks like. Of course, you can't see the front display when it's uh, in setup mode, which is unfortunate, but it's about, here are the corners of it. I don't know if you can see this in video, but the two ends of my thumbs tell you where the edges are. So it's actually a pretty significant size. So let's talk about the specs real quick, all right? This 6.2 inch front display is a little weird. It has a 2142 by 876 pixel resolution. So it's not 1080p, it's not 720p, it's somewhere in between. And uh, the front display is 2.7 inches, 800 by 600 pixels, right? 
Then there's a camera here. This is the main camera. It's a 48 megapixel f over 1.7, 0.8 micron with quad pixel binning. So outputs 12 megapixels and OIS. So that's a big improvement over the original Razer camera. And it's nice to see OIS on a Moto phone. They don't do a lot of phones with OIS, which always bites them when it comes to, you can see the display here, when it comes to camera performance. The chin does no longer has the fingerprint sensor on it on this 5G version. It's instead embedded right here in the Moto logo. You wouldn't know. It's pretty well done. And uh, here's the, um, the back. So I think this might be glass. And obviously the front is glass. And I think this edge piece is, is a plastic. You can see there is a USB type C port, SIM slot, no micro SD here, and a mono speaker. And this is what the hinge looks like. It's this uh, brushed aluminum. It's really nice. And you open it up, you've got the power lock key here on the left side, the hinge details with the screw in there. And on the right side, you get the volume rocker here. Again, hinge detail, very cool. And there's really nothing else around this phone. There is another camera here. This is a 20 megapixel f over 2.2, 0.8 micron camera with the earpiece right here. And uh, nothing too fancy, but it's nice for your video calls. And uh, yeah, so Snapdragon 765G, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, sub six 5G support, of course, because it's Snapdragon 765G. So that's kind of cool. And uh, the only thing that kind of makes me pause is the battery, 2800 milliamp hour. That's a little small, even for a Snapdragon 765G. So hopefully it lasts long enough. I suppose that if you use the front display a lot, it'll help. There's by the way, a little microphone here. I don't know if you notice that. And another one in the back by the Razer logo. So yeah, that's it folks. That's the uh, Razer 5G unboxing. I don't have too much else to tell you other than I'm gonna try this out and let you know what I think. What's really cool about this phone to me is that it's a folding phone just like the Z Flip, but it's a different take on that. It's, it's more potentially more practical with this front display. So I'll let you know, and I'm glad to see the specs have been updated since last year's to something more modern. In the specs, it says it supports 15 watt fast charging, fast in quotes, doesn't have wireless charging, does have NFC though, so should be able to use Google Pay with this. That's it folks, the Razer 5G. Again, thanks to at and for providing this review unit. I really appreciate it. And stay tuned, I'll have more about this. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Comment below, would you buy this or would you buy the Z Flip 5G if you had that kind of money? If it was up to you and you had to choose a folding phone that turns into like a little compact when it's closed and opens into a regular size phone when it's open, would you buy the Moto or the Samsung? And then uh, click the notification bell below so you know when uh, another video comes out. Remember, this is a compliment to the podcast at mobiletechpodcast.com. So subscribe. We're on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Pocket Casts, Spotify, pretty much everywhere good podcasts can be found. Please listen. I'll be telling you what I think about that phone on the podcast. So that's it, folks. Stay tuned. I'll have more soon. Cheers, everybody.